know how to record? Yep, we're recording now. Okay, good. All good? All right, perfect. Okay. Oh, who else do we got in here? Franklin and Hannah. Perfect. All right. Okay. So who can tell me how many times 28 goes into 109? Go ahead, Kong. Four. Four. And we know it can't be five, right? Because if it was five, five times 20 is 100, but five times eight is 40. So we know that would be way too big. So we'll try four. Eight times four is two. Add our three, eight. So is this too big too? So three. So three. So we can go back and we will try three. So eight times three is four. We add our two up here. Three times two is six plus two is eight. And then we have a nice easy one, 25. And so we can check it. 28 is bigger than 25. So we know three is correct. So now we bring down our two. Now, how many times does 28 go into 252? Francis, you wanna try this one? No, Julia? Okay. Okay, 28 into 252. What do you think? 252. Yep, so how many times is 28 gonna go into 252? Maybe nine. Maybe nine. So what if we look at this? Let's try to judge it, okay? If we did nine, right? Nine times 28, nine times eight is 72. So we would have a two at the end and then we'd have to carry our seven. So then we would have nine times two is 18 plus seven, 25. So we got a nine. Perfect. And that's zero, no remainder. Great job, Julia. Good choice. All right. So does everybody get that? 239 is our answer. Some Any... of the problems I got a decimal. Yeah, so some of these will not go in evenly um, just because they are, they'll have remainders. So they're not all even. Okay. Any questions on that? Any comments? Any concerns from anybody? Okay, perfect. So I'm only going to do the first one. And now we're going to go on to the next. So this is page 62, question number five. And it says, express each of the following as an improper fraction. All right. Let's see, Sanaya, do you want to turn one and four fifths into an improper fra fraction? Um, uh, I kind of forgot how to, but I'm like. That's okay, we can walk through it. All right, so do, do you remember what an improper fraction is? Uh, yeah. Okay, so what is an improper fraction? It's basically, I'm pretty sure it's uh, the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Perfect. So how are we gonna get that? How are we gonna turn this into an improper fraction? We have this whole number, right? There's something special that we can do with this whole number, if you remember. You, time, you times one with by, which equals by, and then add it with four, which is nine. Perfect. So we take our whole number and we multiply it by the denominator. And so one times five is five, just like Snyder yeah. said. And then we add it to the numerator. So plus four gives us nine. So our answer is nine fifths. And that's yeah. our improper fraction. Great job, Snyder. Okay. All right, anybody want to try B? Okay, let's see. Who has it? Francis, do you want to try B? Or, oh, Hannah, Hannah, you, you have your hand up. Try B, Hannah, go uh, for it. Okay, so you do two times three and then plus two. 
Perfect. So six plus two equals eight, and that's eight over three. Awesome. Great job, Hannah. Thank you. So eight over three. Any questions on that one? All right, perfect. All right, so now we'll go on. And this was page 66, number eight. I chose a word problem. Who likes word problems? Everybody? Awesome, perfect. Okay, so a packet of flour with a mass of four kilograms was divided into six equal shares. What was the mass of each share in kilograms? Francis, do you want to try this one? Sure. Okay. The total mass is six, 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 six. Wait, no, it's zero point six, 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 six. So it repeats. So we can say it's what four divided by six. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. So instead of 0.6 repeating, we can just make it an easy fraction. Two thirds kilograms, which is the same as 0.6666 repeating. Does that make sense for everybody? Good job, Francis. I still like it 66666. I know. But if we're going to, sometimes you have to be precise. And so this is a precise answer, whereas this is um, not, because this is an irrational number. So it's not as close as we can be. Does that make sense? All right, perfect. Now we'll go on to our stuff for today. Let's see. All right, so lesson five. Perfect. Lesson five. Um, we are going to look at fraction simplification. So we've been doing that, right? That's pretty easy stuff. So our first example, we're going to express these um, as a whole number, fraction, or a mixed number in its simplest form. So if we have an improper fraction, we have to make it a mixed number and its simplest form. Does that make sense? And if we have just a regular fraction, we have to simplify it. So I'll do the first one, nine over 27. This one's pretty easy. Nine goes into 27 three times. So I can say one third. Does that make sense? 20 and 25 is easy. Five goes into 20, four times. Five goes into 25, five times. Does that make sense? Okay, who wants to try 52 over 13? Julia, go ahead. Uh, you can do, oh, uh, you can do uh, four. Four, so four goes into both of them or the answer's four? What do you think, Julia? The answer is four, I said. Okay, sorry, you were muted. So that's correct. The answer is four, because 52 divided by 13 is four. Great job. Who wants to try 24 over 36? Anybody? Albert, do you want to give this one a try? Go for it. Uh, they can all be different. By two, okay, so let's try it. 24 divided by two is what? 12? All 12 and um, the other one is, um, uh, wait, is that 36 or 34? 36. Oh, 36. Okay. <clears throat> 36 divided by two, 18, perfect. So can this be simplified more? All right, and what can it be simplified to? Uh, uh, three? What number do you want to try? You want to try three? Yeah. Okay, so three goes into 12, how many times? Four. All right, and three goes into 18? Six. All right, so can we simplify this? Yeah. And then yeah. 
two-thirds. Perfect. So two-thirds. Sometimes it's not that easy just to see which numbers to simplify. So in that case, we can do what Elbert did. The easiest one, these are both even, two. Two works. And then he saw that three goes into both of these. That works. And then he saw two goes into both of these again to get two-thirds. And this is still the same answer we would have got if we would have put 12. Does that make sense for everybody? Good job, Albert. All right, so now we have 101 over 202. Anyone want to try this one? Kong, go ahead. Um, wouldn't it just be 1 over 101? So 1 divided by 101. Like yeah. that? Yeah. Um, because we can take out a 101 from each of them? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's right. Yeah. Mommy. That's right. Uh, I right. got right. one no. half. Right. There we go. That's better. One half. Sorry. I was not thinking. So it's one half because it's, there we go, one half, there we go. Because we can times, if we times this, if we times one by 101, we get 101. And if we times this one by 101, or this two by 101, we get 202. Does that make sense, Kong? You had me confused. I thought you were right. You almost had me. All right, so last one we have 29 over 12. Would anybody like to try this one? Hannah? Okay, so this one's an improper fraction. So uh, uh, I got 2 and 5 over 12. Perfect. And 12. can that be simplified at all? Uh, nope. Nope, because nothing goes into 5 and 12. So this is a simple um, answer. Awesome, that was great everybody. Does anybody have any questions or anything on fraction simplification? Francis, do you have a question? Well, it's not really a question, but can you unmute me when you want me to answer a question? Unmute you? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just call on you because I don't know if I can, I can only ask you to unmute. Oh okay, yeah, you can make participants unmute. Um, I'll try. Okay. So we can only request. Yeah. So if you mute yourself, Francis, try to mute yourself real quick. I can only do this. That's all I can do. And it should just ask you. Okay. All right. But all I can right, do I that. Can... That's perfectly fine. Okay. Now we're looking at addition and subtraction of unlike fractions. So when we have fractions, what's the one thing we need to add them? Go ahead, Brian. We need a common denominator. Perfect. We need a common denominator. So I'll do the first one. We have one half and one third. I know that the common denominator of two and three is six. And so I can write six over here because I know that's what it's going to be. So two goes into six three times. So two times three is six. One times three is three. 3 times 2 is 6. So 1 times 2 is 2. And so our answer will be 5, 6. So 1 half plus 1 third is 5, 6. Does that make sense for everybody? Any questions? All right, perfect. So let's see. I will, let's see here. I'm going to mark these and everyone can do them if you haven't, and then we'll go through them. So we'll do, let's see, Elbert here. We'll do Brian here. Oops, Brian, Brian. Um, over here, we'll do Julia. Francis, you're right here. You get the first subtraction. Uh, Kong, let's see. Sanaya, do you want this one? Sure. Okay. 
Let's see. Does anybody want this one? All right, Hannah. Hannah's here. Franklin, do you want it? Do you want one? Do you want me to write you one? Franklin and Rachel, would you guys like me to write you a problem with each? Uh, no. No? <laughs> All right. Well, tell you what, practice this one. One half plus two fourths. Okay. And I'll come back to you on that one, Franklin. All right. Give me one second here. Here we go. Okay. All right. Are you ready, Albert? All right, let's do it. What did you get? Um, uh, for the first one? Can yep. I explain how I got it? You can explain or you can give me the answer. What do you, whatever you want. Uh, I got one and seven fifteen. One and seven over 15. So, you found the common denominator is 15, which is right, right? Five and three can only be 15. So the first one would be multiplied by three. So we get 12 fifteenths plus 10 fifteenths, which is 22 fifteenths. So you can pull out, I think this should be an eight. No, seven. You're right. Yay. Huh? Yay. <laughs> Hold on. Let me check this. My writing's confusing. 22 over 15, right? So we can take out 15. 22 minus 15 is one. Okay. Seven. Yep. Seven fifteenths. One and seven fifteenths. Getting confused today. All right. Good job, Albert. Brian, you ready? Yeah. All right, what did you get? I got, I got seven tenths. Seven tenths, perfect. So you found 10 is a common denominator. Yeah, so that would be 50. And then- Four over 10 plus three over 10. Oh, you found 50 as a common denominator? Yeah, and then I just simplified. Okay, so you can do that. Um, so what I did, I noticed, because I know that five goes into 10, that it, you don't even have to change this one, right? You can just multiply this one by two over two. Do you see that, Brian? Kind of. Kind of, okay, so here, let me show you. So we got two fifths plus three tenths, right? And so if you have a five and a 10 or a five and like a 25, or a five and 100. If, yeah, if something the, I could go into. Like exactly. Go into. So you don't yeah. have to change the second one and it'll be less math and you'll get right to the answer. Does okay. that sound good? Yeah. Awesome. All right, Julia, are you ready? Yeah, I got one half. You got one half. Okay, so, whoops. What just happened here? All right, so we did three over 12 plus one fourth. And so did you use 12 as your common denominator? Yeah. Perfect, so we did three over 12 and then plus, let's see, four goes into 12 three times and we get six over 12 or one half. Perfect, great job. All right, Francis, are you ready? Okay, what did you get? I got one sixth. One sixth, perfect. So Francis used six as his common denominator. And so I'm just gonna use the one right up above it. So we had three over six minus two over six to get one over six. Great job, Francis. Oh, can I wash my hands? Of course, go ahead. They're sticking together. All right, Kong, are you ready? <laughs> Yeah. All right. What did you get? 
I got two fifteenths. Two fifteenths. Perfect. So you found 15 is your common denominator. Same as up here. So you got 12 over 15 minus 10 over 15. Great job. Okay, let's see. Um, Sanaya, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. I got one by 10. One tenth. Perfect. So you saw four over 10 and then minus three over 10. Perfect. Okay. And then Hannah, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I saw that the, um, the lowest common denominator is 12 because four goes into 12. Perfect. And then uh, you just keep it there, and, but you have to change uh, the next fraction because uh, 12, since it was times three to the four, you have to do times three to the one. Just like that? So it's zero. Perfect. Great job, Hannah. Awesome. Does that make sense for everybody? Does anybody have questions, comments, or concerns? Right? Good to move on? Perfect. All right. So now, oops. Francis is trying to annotate. Okay, one second, let me make sure. All right, so now we're gonna do addition, subtraction of fractions, whole numbers and mixed numbers. Um, so we're gonna have all of what we've been doing and we're just gonna combine it all together. Are we ready? Do you want me to start naming some off or do you want me to do the first couple? Name and some off. Name some off, Name okay. Them. Perfect, let's name them off. Um, anybody want the first one? Raise your hand. All right, so we'll go Elbert here first. We'll go Brian, you're gonna be right here. Kong. Um, we'll go Hannah. Let's see, we'll do Julia. Um, let's see, Sanaya. We will go Franklin. I'm going to put you right here. Let's see, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Rachel, if you're there, I'm going to give you this one. Francis, right here. Uh, and I have one person on here with no name. One second. Okay, Will. All right. Will, can you put your name up on there for me? Just, I don't want to miss you. And so I'm looking at everyone's names right here. Is that okay, Will? Awesome. All right. Should I keep going? We'll keep going. And then we'll put Brian on this one. Let's see, Elbert here. Hannah here. Kong here. Francis, we'll put you right here. Let's see. And does anybody want the last one? Julia, you got it, Julia. Okay. Elbert, you let me know when you're ready because you're going to start, okay? If anyone has questions, feel free to raise your hand or anything. Okay. Let's see what you got, Elbert. I'm going to try and write it down below here. So we got one and one half plus three fifths. So what did you change the one and one half to, to start? Um, I changed it to three. Um, three Perfect. Two. Three halves, and then you have plus three fifths. So then what did you do? Then um, I know that two and five both um, have 10. Perfect. So, um, 
Um, yeah. All right, so what is our first one? Three over two turns into what? Perfect. And then three fifths turns to? I mean, yeah, six tenths. Perfect. Six tenths. And so what was our answer here? Um, I got 21 um, over 10. Perfect. And is this the simplest answer? Nope. What's our simplest answer? Perfect. Great job, Elbert. Two and one tenth. And that's the simplest. Great job. All right, Brian, are you ready? Well, All right. So well, that would it equal? Um, where is it? Would that equal? Hold on. Where is it? Nine tenths. Nine tenths. So I believe it would be, right? So we'll look right here at Elbert's yeah. work because it's the same, so we'd have 15 over 10, and then minus 6 over 10, because it's the same numbers. And so we get 9 over 10, because 15 minus 6 is 9, and our denominator stays the same. Great job, Brian. All right, Kong, are you ready? Yeah. All right, so we got three numbers, 1 minus 1 11th minus 3 11th. How did you do it? So first, so isn't there two ways? You could do 1 minus 1 11 minus 3 11, or you could do 1 11 plus 3 11 minus 1. So I did 1 minus 1 11, I'm 1 11, which equals 10 11. And then you minus 3 11, which equals 7 11. Perfect. Great job, Kong. And that's it, right? That's the simplest. Mm -hmm. That was great. And just like you said, you could have done the negative 1 11th minus 3 11th first, and then you would have gotten a negative 4 11th. And so it still would have been the same. Oops, this is 11, not 10. Great job. Okay. Hannah, are you ready? Yeah. Sorry. I didn't realize you were eating. That was my fault. It's okay. Um, I got one and four over 11. One and four 11. So Hannah did the same as up here, right? So we changed it to 11 over 11 plus one over 11 to give 12 over 11 and then plus three over 11 to get 15 over 11. So there's one with four left out. And that's our simplest answer. Great job, Hannah. Thank you. Okay. Um, Julia, are you ready? Oh, I did it like down. I'm not there yet. Did you do this one? Oh, that one? Yeah. Yep, this one right here. Oh, you meant the last one. Nope. There were right here for you. Uh, two and five twelfths. Okay, two and five twelfths, two and five over 12. So I'm gonna walk everyone through it. So we have three over four, and then we have to change our one and two thirds to five thirds. And then we found 12 is a common denominator, right? Four goes into 12 three times, so we get a six. Three goes into 12 four times, so we get a 20. So then we get 26 out of 12, which would be two and four twelfths. Hmm. Am I right? Yeah. So I think you might be a little off, Julia. Did you get five twelfths or four twelfths? Wait, let me check. Okay. So we can walk through it. You got three fourths. And then what did you change your mixed number into? I changed it to five over three. Okay. And so three fourths goes into 12 times three. Oh, that's why I messed up. This should be a nine. That's where it is. It was my fault. I fault. 
light fault. So then we get 29 divided by 12 is two and five twelfths. That's where it's at. Sorry. Good job, Julia. Okay. Um, Sanaya, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So what did um, you get? I got I got eight by twelve. Okay. And can you simplify that? Uh yeah, you can do it to by four by six. Uh what if, what if we did twos, right? So two goes into eight, four, or whoops, fours. So if you do fours, four goes into eight two times, and four goes into 12 three You times. can do it two by six. I mean, not two by six, two by three. Yeah, two thirds. Um, and so we can use the same stuff. So we would get 20 over 12 because we switched it, and then minus nine over 12. Or, whoops, sorry, 20, where am I at here? Yeah, shouldn't it be 20 over 12 minus 19 over 12? What did you get there, Sanaya? I got um, eight by 12. Uh, what did you get when you changed one and two thirds? Uh, I got, um, let me check. I got four by 10. I mean, not four by 10, I got five by three. Okay, and then you changed that to 20 over 12? No. Because uh, you got to get a common denominator, right? Oh, yeah. So will you do 20 over 12? And then to get the other common denominator, four goes into 12 three times, so we get nine over 12. So it'd be 20 over 12 minus nine over 12 or 11 over 12. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Good job. All right. Franklin, ready? Yeah. All right. Give me one second, but you can start. One minus one third minus four ninths. Go for it, buddy. Tell me what you got. One minus one third is two thirds. Perfect. So one minus one third, we can say this is three thirds and we get two thirds and then minus four over nine. Um, you can change the bottom um, three times three. Perfect. And so then we get three times two and we can keep the second one, right, Franklin? Because it's already got nine as a denominator. Yeah. Perfect. And what do we get? Two ninths. Great job, buddy. Two ninths. Way to go, Franklin. All right. Rachel, are you ready? Are you there, Rachel? Okay. No worries. We'll just do this one real quick. So it's the same as Franklin's, right? So we would do um, the same number. So we get three over three, because that's one, plus one over three gives us four over three. And then plus four over nine, this would have to be, so we get a nine here, times three is 12, and then plus four over nine, I get 16 over nine, which is an improper fraction, right? So it'd be one, and seven ninths. Does that make sense? Does that look good? Any questions? Okay. Um, let's see. Francis, are you ready? Are you there, Francis? Yeah. All right, you're up, buddy. Uh, can you walk this through with me? Of course, that's what we're here for if you need the help. All right, so you have one and five six plus nine tenths, right? Yeah. What's the first thing we have to do? Make it equivalent things. So, so not, not necessarily this here. We have um, a, whole, a mixed number. So we have to make this an improper fraction, right? Yeah. Yeah, so what is one and five six as an one improper five... fraction? 
One and five, six. Eleven, six. Perfect. So we have eleven, six. And then we have plus nine over ten. Oops. Let me get rid of this thing. All right. So now what do we have to do, Francis? Now you got to make the fractions equivalent to each other. Perfect. With with a what? What is it called? What has to be equivalent? The what? The denominator. There you go. Perfect. So we got to get equivalent denominators. So what is going to be an equivalent denominator for six and ten? What's our common denominator? The common denominator is 60. Is it? Or is there a smaller one? I don't know. So we'll, we can do 60. That's perfectly fine. We're, we'll do whatever you want to do. Um, so 6 goes into 60 10 times. So we'd have 110, correct? No, I know it's 30. Oh, OK. So you want to try 30? Yeah. All right. If you use the smaller denominator, it makes simplifying easier. You won't have to simplify it as much. So, so we have 30. That's an even better one. Awesome. All right. So six goes into 30 how many times? What do you think, Francis? Five times. So five times 11 is what? Uh, five times 11 is 55. Perfect. All right. And then 10 goes into 30 three times. So what's nine times three? 27. Perfect. So then 27. Right? Yep. 27 plus 55 is what? Uh, 82. So we have 82 over 30. Is that our final answer? Yeah. Are you sure? No, we got to make it a, a proper fraction. Perfect. We have to make it a proper fraction. So how are we going to do that? 30 goes into 82 how many times? Uh, uh, 2 times. Perfect. And that would be 60, so we would have 22 left over out of 30. Now, is this the final answer? Yes. Is it, or can this be simplified? Yes, it can be simplified. Okay, so let's simplify it. What's a number that can go into 22 and 30? Uh, I don't know. What about two? Yeah, two. Go into so we'll get two goes into 22 11 times, two goes into 30 15 times. So our final answer is two and 11 fifteenths. Does that sound good, Francis? Awesome, great job. Okay, Will, are you ready? Oh yeah. Okay, here we go, Will. So you got one and five six minus nine tenths. What did you do first? I first, um, I first um, I first made it into one hundred and ten, and then the bottom is sixty. So you changed the denominator first. Did you change this into an improper fraction? Um, yeah. Okay, so what we do first, we'll change this to an improper fraction first to give 11 over six. Does that make sense? And then minus nine tenths. And so now you got your 60? Yeah. Okay, and so six, goes into 60 10 times and you said 110? Yeah. Okay, so you did so you did change this to 11 over six? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Perfect, Will. And then nine over 10 goes into what over 60? 
equals um, You're okay, so we got 10 times six, right? So then we'll have nine times six. Here's an easy one. Do you know what nine times five is? Um, 45. Perfect, so all you have to do nine times six is flipped. It's 54. So it's 45 and then times six is 54. It just flips. That's how I remember it. So we can say 54, does that make sense? Okay. Is that what you got? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So now we have 110 minus 54 for the top. And what did you get here? Um, 64 over 60. So you got 64 over 60? I think it should be 46 over 60. Right, because 110, so then we can do 54 plus 46 is zero, 159, no, 56. What am I doing? What am I doing here today, guys? Zero, 10, five, six, 56 over 60. Yes, you are correct, Will. I'm so sorry. My math is off today. All right, so 56 over 60. Is that our final answer? Um, no, you could simplify it too. 32 over 30. 32? 32 over 30? Uh, yeah. Did you say this was 56 right here over 60? Oh. 28. So if this is 56 over 60, this shouldn't be bigger than this one. But that's okay, let's figure it out. We'll figure out what you did. Um, if you got 30 on the bottom, I'm guessing what you did was divided 56 by two? Yeah. So 56 divided by two, two goes into five, two times. 27 over 30. So 28, because I got a 16 here. And so two goes into 16, eight times. So 28 over 30. Is that our simplest answer? Um, you could simplify it to, um, 20. Um, you could simplify it to, um, to 14 over 15. Perfect. 14 over 15. And that is our final answer. Great job, Will. That was a long one. You did great. Okay. Let's see. Brian, are you ready? Seven minus three sevens. Is it six and one sevens? Six and one sevens you got? Yeah. So you did um, 49 over 7 and then Wait, minus. I know, hold on. Um, or I, I got 6 over 4 sevens. Um, so this goes into here 6, and that is what 42 and 6 and 4 sevens. Yep, that looks right. Good job, Brian. All right, let's see. Albert, what'd you get for the next one? So I got, so like, I'm just going to, so okay. I did the one in, one over eight, to nine over eight, and the seven, okay. seven over one, and um, I can multiply it by eight, and um, I got 56 over eight minus nine over eight, and I got 47 over 8, and um, um, 
I just put it in a mixed number and I got five and seven over eight. Perfect. Five and seven eighths, and it can't be simplified. Great job, Albert. Hannah, are you ready for the next one? Yeah, I got 17 over 24. 17 over 24. So you found 24 is our common denominator. That looks right. One and one eighths goes to nine eighths minus five twelfths. So times two and times three. So 27 over 24 plus uh, 10 should be 37. And you, you got 17 and 24. Yep. Good job, Hannah. All right, Thanks. Kong. Um, is it one and 13 over 24, the simplest answer? Yes. Because we have 27 and then we have plus 10 is 37. 24 goes into that one time, left with 13 and 24. Great job. All right. Francis, are you ready to do the next one? Did Francis leave? Francis left us. Okay. Julia, do you want to do yours? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got eight and one third. Eight and one third. Okay. So we do four and four thirds. I can change that to 16, 17, 18, 19 over four plus 36 plus seven um, is 43 over 12, right? And so we get 62. Oh, we can't add those together. So we have to do this times three. 19 times three, seven at the two, 57. So we get uh, 100. Over 12? Is that what you ended up getting, Julia? Yeah. And then that goes into there. Eight times, right? Eight times 12. And there's a little less. 96 and four twelfths. Yes, so eight and one third. Awesome. Great job, Julia. All right. So here we are. This is the last thing we have. Hannah, do you have a question? No, I was just volunteering. Oh, you wanted to volunteer? Okay, no worries. Let's see. So here's the unit, op unit operations in relations to other fractions and whole numbers. Um, so we'll let Hannah do this one here. Hannah will be first. Does anybody want to try the second one? Albert, you got here. Anybody want to try three? Franklin? Okay. And Brian, you want to try this one? All right. Okay. What'd you get for number one there, Hannah? Okay. So what I did, I um, saw that there's two halves in one uh, hole. So I did three times two and I got six. Perfect. Oh, three times two, which is six. Great job. There are six halves. Two halves. Um, and then for number two, let's see, Albert. There are blank quarters in four and one half. Um, I know that two and one two times two is four, so um, I multiplied I multiplied the denominator by two and um, the numerator by two too. And I got um, 15 over four. So you got 15 over four. So there are 15 over four quarters in one half. Does that look right? Hmm. Um, I said 18 over 4. Oh, you said 18. Sorry. I thought you said 15. Okay, 18. Does that look good for everybody? Okay. 
Franklin, you ready? There are blank six and two thirds. There are, there are four, six, and two thirds. There are four, six, and two thirds. Perfect. Um, and number four, Brian, you ready? Yeah, is it third? I mean, yeah, 13 tenths. So 13 tenths. Because we did, um, oof, two, 10, 13. Should it be 26? Yeah. 26 tenths? Yeah. 26 tenths. Got to, because we got to remember to do the top two. Awesome. Okay. Does that look good? Does that make sense for everybody? Any questions from anyone? All right. Any comments, concerns, anything? Any questions about homework? Oh, I think that number four is 23 tenths. Oh, I definitely have a question about homework. Um, hold on, Francis. Juliet, what did you say? It's 23 tenths? Yeah, because as, as in 10, one tenth is one. So that means there must be 20 tenths and two. And then and there's an extra three because of the three fifths. So how I so how I see this is so we can change this to an improper fraction, right? And that's the easiest way. So two times five is 10. So we we'll turn, turn this to 13 fifths, right? And to make it tenths, we need the five to be a 10. And so I know that if I multiply this by two, I can get 10. So when I multiply this by two, I should get 26 tenths or um, two and six tenths or two and three fifths, right? So it should always come back. Okay. Because if you had 13, if you had, or if you had 23 on the top, it wouldn't come back and equal two and three fifths. Does that make sense? Okay, all right, and Francis, you said you had a question about homework? Uh, yeah, why do you always select the long ones? Huh? Why do you always select the long questions? I try to pick the ones that are the toughest to show everybody. <laughs> um, that's why. And so, because that way, if, if you didn't get those questions, that way when we come to class, you can at least understand them if you're afraid to ask questions. Does that make sense? Mm, sure. Sure, okay. But the other homework questions you can do on your own. I just pick some, but if you want, if you have um, select questions that you wanna go through, bring them to class and we'll do them. Does that sound good? Yeah. Awesome, okay. Any other questions? All right, well, I'm gonna let everybody go. You all did great today and I will see everybody next Thursday. Thank okay? you. Thank you, Bye. have a great one. Bye. I have a question. Yes. Um, in, in, uh, in Macrez, are there going to be like any tests? Um, so you won't have any tests in this, um, not in this class, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bye. Okay, goodbye. I have different, my earphones have different colors. <laughs> Yep. Will, did you have a question? Oh, no. Okay, perfect. Well, I'm going to head out. You, you guys have a great weekend. Okay. I like your headphones. Thank you.